Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about market entry points so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. So I'm just going to make something up because I can't find the situation, but we're going to pretend, okay? We're pretending now. Everybody got that? So let's say that the market opened right there and then 11 o'clock is like right here or something. And let's say that we're in an uptrend. We're not, but let's just pretend we're in an uptrend. We're in an uptrend and then it comes to that morning and then it decide, Then right out of the gate, it just goes straight up. And you're waiting for that pullback, you know, so that it will come back and so you can take a trade. When you have a, a move that goes right out of the gate, straight up, here, I'm just going to move out into no man's land here. Right out of the gate, straight up, something like this. At some point, it's going to pull back. So we have what we call an impulsive move. Like maybe it moved up 10, 15, 20 points in just like a few minutes. We're going to wait for that pullback. All right, that pullback is usually anywhere from 33 to 75%. And we're waiting for that pullback on an LVL. So there's probably going to be a couple of lines like this. They're bound to be there. Just blast it through them, and then it comes up and it pulls back, right? Maybe it pulled back to this one. And then it stalled a little bit, and it looks like it's going to start moving up. And maybe it does. It starts doing this. So you take your position there. That's typically what, what would happen. These big impulsive moves, we're usually looking for a pretty big pullback. Like, so for instance, if it just pulls back, like, let's say that you're waiting for it and it goes up to here, then it comes down to here and then just does one of these things. Don't take the trade there. That's usually probably not a good place to take it. If you can see that uh, it was a, a big, strong move. These moves almost always pull back substantially. Wait for the bigger move. Same Coach, thing if you're, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say earlier, we were talking about a, a downtrend or a put trend, but right now you're giving an example of a call. If, when yeah, you're so looking now, now, now I'm going to do a downtrend. I wanted to go through both. Okay, okay. I just wanted to clarify. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's almost exactly the opposite. Right out of the gate, it's 9.30 in the morning. We've got overall a downtrend, right? It's coming. And then, bam, it moves down like this right at the open. Again, you're looking for a substantial pullback, something like this, about 50%, 30, anywhere from about 35 to 75%. And you'll see, there'll be some structural elements there, you know, they'll be pretty clear. And then it starts doing something like this. That's probably a good place to get in. So that means you'd be putting a put fly down here somewhere. So big impulsive moves, you're waiting for a big pullback into an LVL, all right? So that, that takes care of the big impulsive move. There's a number of ways the market can open, right? I'm just showing you what, what we're usually looking for on those big impulsive moves right at the open. We're looking for a big pullback into an, a structural element. That's the one commonality. We're always looking for the pullback into the structural element, regardless of how big the move is. But the big moves, we're usually looking for a big retracement. With small moves, we're looking for, or medium moves, we're looking for small and medium retracements. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.